Hello everyone. Today is the first day that I'm back. I took a well, well, long, long break. And for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's not like I didn't have things to say. I did and I do. Don't forget, chai tea, it works. Oh yeah, I've also fallen off the wagon <laughs> with the it works, but I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Um, anywho, I thought today would be a most fitting day. Bought a hat for the occasion. Um, today's January 15th. Yes, it is. And what is January 15th? Yes, it is our uh, <clears throat> uh, Martin Luther King's birthday. But before there was a Martin Luther King, <laughs> there was... And the Alpha Kappa Alpha. <laughs> so, I think, you know, we're fly. <laughs> and this year, more than anything, we, uh, in the past year, we have, America has really awoken to Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Anywho. Um... <sighs> father I think he really doesn't like to stay on um, but I know it works because I tried it before I got over <laughs> so we're not we're not playing those games oh my god he just really likes to steal my thunder there we go as the, ooh, as the father is frothing, um, let's talk about a really nice recommendation that I really want to share with you. One of my favorite deodorants is um, oh wait, pause before we get there, just in case I know some of my sores out there is going to be looking at my hat. Rag bone is my hat. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, I got it from Nordstrom. Um, now, uh, let's do a shameless plug. Ivy Storehouse is selling the outfits. And they're actually, you have to buy them separately. So, it is what it is on that. Okay. <clears throat> um, the pants and the sweater are separate. And green and black. And they're in, uh, as of right now, they're in back order. I didn't bring a fancy cup. I did a solo blue cup. Why? Because I don't want to wash a dish. And in the world of Elizabeth who's gonna be at home until 2022, we're gonna be doing, you know, the dishes is, a, is extreme. By the way, I know that people are racing to get to school and don't, don't say that I'm not. Actually, I understand the race to get your kids back in school, but let me tell you something. My kids' teachers, uh, both of them, have been out sick at least twice in this school year and it leads me to be like this is the reason why they're not at school and um, and what if the school had been open you would have had a serious outbreak and it's not that serious um, okay, anyway, recommendation. My favorite deodorant is Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. Um, and then I also love, love, love the Avon Soft Skin Deodorant. So this deodorant spray came as a sample. It's much, the sample's much smaller. Um, and it's called Cal Shed Deodorant Spray. 
it's $18 a bottle. So, I mean, I know that sounds like a lot, but I love it. Now, Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. Every time you sweat, you smell more of the perfume. So you actually, and it's pretty faint, so it doesn't overpower your actual perfume. But this one, you smell nothing. There's no sweat. There's nothing. It's a good, um, it's a good deodorant spray. I'm trying to get my husband to use it, but he hasn't used it yet. And the essential oils in it is, um, peppermint, spearmint, and lemongrass. Like, there is zero smell. It is amazing. All day. Amazing. And it doesn't smell of your clothes either. Because sometimes you can get the smell of your deodorant in your clothes. And you don't have that either. So it's amazing. It is amazing. Anywho, guess I'll figure out where my husband's going <laughs> um, later. Anywho, okay, so there's so much to talk about. The question is, like, how much do we want to talk? Um, let's see, how long is it? Oh, it's only been six minutes. Let's talk about WandaVision. <clears throat> so I stayed up till midnight to see WandaVision. And let me say this about WandaVision. Um... I, I understood why Disney dropped the first episode and the second episode together. Because I'm going to let you know right now, I am highly anticipating the, what the hell, I'm, in, I'm anticipating that. And because there's going to be a number of people who have never watched, uh, if you're, and, and, and Mo made a, a really good comment. He's like, look, anybody under 35 is going to struggle. <laughs> and, and I think that that is a legit conversation because when I was growing up, I love Lucy, Bewitched, all those folks, all of that, the Munsters, the original Adams family, like the Three Stooges, all of that played in a continual loop. We don't get that anymore. Um, I Love Lucy, I mean, when I say continual loop, like on on Channel 11, Channel 5 had the Monsters, KTLA. Channel 11 had I Love Lucy. Bewitched used to come on Channel 9. So, I mean... One of my favorite was, um, 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 what do you call, uh, that? anyway, the point is I can understand where people are going to be like, what, what is this? I don't understand what's happening and why does it look like this? And what's so funny about the show is, is that during these old sitcoms, they used to always like, <laughs> They used to always have the same front of the house and have a whole different interior. And you're like, but not, 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 not just change a few things around. Like the steps would be on the other side. Like, I mean, they would, <laughs> they used to do like, don't you realize that your viewers are fully aware that you've changed the whole outlook. If you watch the pilot season, I'm, 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 I'm departing. If you watch the pilot episode of Living Single, that was clearly shot in um, Family Matters house. Yes, it was. Because you're like, this is the Family Matters. Why is that funny? I laugh at this. Yes. Why? Because it's funny. It's hilarious when you... So to see them kind of do the second episode, I was like... Where they do the, the, the you know, clearly this is 
a throwback to the first episode was clearly I Love Lucy. I was like, oh, this is I Love Lucy. Like, and let me tell you how much I love I Love Lucy. Like, I know all, I've, I've not only know, when I was a kid, it broke my heart when she died. I was just like, so you mean I'll never meet I Love Lucy? You mean I'll never meet Lucy or Ball? Never, ever? Like, I mean, it broke my heart. <laughs> like, I was like, so wait, but, I mean, Carol Burnett is cool, but <laughs> Lucy's dead, y'all. Anywho. Anywho, I, I, I just don't, um, I, um, you know, anywho. So the second episode is kind of funnier because like, it is so bewitched <laughs> like I mean it, they got Darren down pat so um and then you throw in and then here's here's the crux if you are familiar with those shows you know there were no black folks so you knew that in episode two when there was a black woman who shows up I'm like So clearly, you know, you're dropping gems by letting people know who us, uh, who know like black folks don't appear in these shows. <laughs> we live in, 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 um, be which there may have been a black person. I don't recall, but I could see that happening, but definitely not know I love Lucy, even though I love Lucy was an interracial couple. I hope you know that. Okay. Um, what else? So anyway, I, I mean, I think that WandaVision is, is sh I mean, the episode's too short for me. <laughs> I was like, and then me, like, okay, so you know they always drop gems at the end. So I was like, okay, I'll wait all the way to the end. Six minutes of, of um, credits. And there's like nothing at the end. I was like, well, I just wasted my six minutes. Anywho, um, what else is there to talk about? Uh, I I do I am gonna do a video on the insurrection because um, I started teaching this semester already. And there's a lot of questions about the insurrection, pardons, and all this other stuff. And there's a lot of things that are taking place that I've been looking online. I mean, there people are just so uninformed. <laughs> like, I was just like, but, you know, so it's kind of, um, um, perplexing listening to different people, um, give their viewpoints. It's like, but that's not accurate so there's that um so i definitely am going to do that definitely in this in another video okay um i watched a number of things during our time apart so let's talk about warrior i was recommended um, someone wanted me to review Warrior and I watched it and I fell in freaking love. Yes, I did. And let me tell you why I fell in love with Warrior. Um, is because I am loving this hat though. Anywho, um, I have a black hat that's similar, but definitely not as pricey. Mm. <clears throat> warrior um why what's up with warrior okay the reason why i love this show so much is because warrior is a a, a, a show that talks a lot about kind of the forming of california 
And I think that's an important conversation because a lot of people do not understand that California was formed in racism. <laughs> and um, and I think that this show, even though it's very graphic, it's very sexual. I mean, the 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 um the killing is oh my heavens it clutches my pearls see all my pearls that i'm wearing today i think my other pearl is over here so i'm like trying to figure out where um actually it's a different set of pearls oh well. anyway um <clears throat> i so the graphic yeah but the thing that i love the most is that it drops jewels along the way and um it 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 really wants you to rethink how about the chinese and when they came here and and i think that that is the best depiction because it may just like africans who were brought here granted africans were brought here in much higher number than the chinese so i get that but the chinese were were part of the slave trade especially since the slave trade was so focused on africans in the beginning um, and chinese were kind of uh, was imported through the caribbean they were imported in louisiana and there's an a, a, a throwaway line that talks about a, one of the guys makes a comment about how he was bought in the caribbean and i was just like so my ears peaked up because i read a book a few years ago called sugar and then i went to this this other uh, a louisiana plantation and it's unfortunate because a lot of the the plantations in louisiana they sell the book sugar but they don't talk about them bringing African slave, uh, uh, Chinese slaves to America. And I think that's an unfortunate part because you do need to talk about Chinese slavery. And I don't understand why we're not talking more about that. Well, yeah, I do, but okay. Anywho, another thing to pause and think about is they even get into um, how white people would kill Mexicans and marry the daughters, take the land. And I was like, thank you for mentioning that. Then looking at how they um, put Native Americans in these sex slave locations. Um, they did Chinese and sex slaves. How some of the first laws in California, discrimination laws, were not about blacks. They were about uh, Chinese. Um, talking about, and then they even bring in um, uh, uh, blacks in two different ways. The free blacks, because this is after the Civil War. So, and I think that's really one of the things I love the most is that the whole show is under the premise of of a lot of the confederates that ran to california because why did you come to california is not just because of the land grab but it's also because we had the gold um the gold rush and so and then it deals a lot of the tension of the irish and why did a lot of irish come to california is because they were heavily discriminated against and and um Chicago, New York. And so they came to California and was beginning to have these economic opportunities until the Chinese came in. And then it became this huge tension between the Chinese and the Irish. And this is how the Irish began to be adapted into American society as white instead of them being as 